first thing we want to do is choose a glass to hold our liquid so we can do our density measurements. I found a variety of glasses in my house, and I'll just tell you which ones I think are the best. This glass is a little too short. It's only about uh, three inches deep. I think we need to go a little bit more, at least three and a half inches. That's nine centimeters deep. Uh, so I, I would uh, reject this one. This one is a little bit taller. I'd like that. I would probably think this is a good choice. This is a jar I found, and it's about three and a half inches on the inside, nine centimeters. And it's not too big around. I want the skinniest, narrowest glass I can find that's got some depth to it. I actually found this, which I think I will use because it's so skinny, I'm not going to waste a lot of liquid, uh, but it's got a nice depth to it. It's about three and a half inches and that'll get me um, good measurements with my density measuring tool, my hydrometer. And if you don't have something like that, uh, and you just have a glass like this around, that's fine too. You don't have to fill it up all the way. Just fill the bottom uh, three and a half or four inches, nine or 10 centimeters with liquid. And uh, you're gonna waste a little bit because we're gonna you know, uh, use that much liquid. But that's fine, this will work just fine also. So I'm gonna use a cookie sheet like this uh, to put down. That way I'm gonna be using liquids and if I spill something, it catches it and keeps the counter nice and neat. This is the cup I decided to use, the glass I decided to use. And we're gonna make a hydrometer. That's something that measures density. And we're gonna make it out of a straw. So I need my straw to be a little bit taller than the glass that I chose. So I can just cut the top off there. And now I need to seal the bottom up and I'm going to use just a little bit of plastic wrap and a rubber band for that. So I'm going to use just a little bit of plastic wrap to seal up the bottom of my straw. I cut a piece that's about, it's a little hard to see there, maybe against my hand. It's about two inches by four inches or five centimeters by 10 centimeters. And I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm just going to put it right over the straw, kind of put the bottom of the straw right in the middle of that and just run those edges up so that it seals up the bottom. But I'm going to wrap a rubber band. This is the smallest rubber band I could find. It doesn't really matter. Just nice and gently wrap the rubber band around there. If you do it too tight, it's going to crush your straw. Just nice and gently wrap it around there until it's all wrapped up. I'm going to go one more. Now, this is our tool we're going to use to measure density. So we have to put some markings on the side so we can take measurements. We need a permanent marker. This is a, uh, a black permanent marker. I think black works the best. But I'm just going to put some marks along the side here. I'm going to start at the top, and I'm just going to put a little dot there. One, two, three. Four. Now I'm going to put a big line where five goes, and then six, seven, eight, nine, and I'll put a big line for ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, put a big line for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, I, maybe I'll go one more, twenty-one, twenty-two, 23, 24, 25, that's probably good. And now I'll be able to take some measurements with this.